Hello guys, uh, today I want to show you how to solve uh, uh, this type of uh, equations which we, we, we call non-linear equations. As you can see, you have uh, the unknown x uh, here in both sides of the equation and, and, you, and you can clearly see that you cannot uh, separate uh, uh, x in a in a manner that you can solve uh, explicitly. So you are forced to use uh, the so-called nonlinear methods, such as newton raphson method or bisection method or uh, Picard method. Uh, the the last one, the Picard method, uh, for many engineers is uh, known as uh, trial and error method. Uh, Today I'm not going to show you all those methods, but I'm going to solve this equation uh, via uh, MATLAB or Octave. Uh, oc the Octave uh, program, as you know, it's uh, similar to MATLAB and uh, it has uh, the, the, sim the, the same uh, commands. Uh, very few differences, which uh, uh, are not uh, a problem for most uh, for most uh, for most of you. So excuse my English; <laughs> it will improve. But uh, you know, it's one of my first videos, so you you have to give me the time to uh, fix you know the problems with. Uh, this YouTube situation. So, uh, today I'm going to solve this problem by using uh, the, the method of function handles. What does that mean? I'm going to show you. Uh, so I open the Octave program and I create the, the function handle, which is uh, essentially a form of function uh, in the mac in the, in the octave environment look now i created the function handle which represents essentially our equation i mean we could uh, always uh, write this equation in a form of a function like this so now we all we have to do it is called the fsolve uh, method function of MATLAB uh, and uh, just uh, solve the equation. Bear in mind that because it is a nonlinear equation and we use an uh, iterative method we need to give an initial approximation. Uh, so I, I just give the approximation zero, for example. Uh, and uh, the, the, the result wouldn't change even if you, uh, you had chosen a different uh, 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 value for your approximation. That's not always the case, but it is enough for this uh, example. There are other examples that you have to do. Uh, perhaps we will do another video uh, with regards to that. Uh, so, guys, that's what I wanted to show you today. I mean, you know, I'm trying to uh, find uh, a way to communicate with the YouTube community. So, I'm just uh, trying to keep it uh, uh, informative, but. Uh, I want. I would like to know if if that was uh, helpful. I mean, I know it was a very trivial example, but uh, uh, we have to start somewhere, <laughs> and uh, uh, we will see how it goes. So, uh, it was a very uh, simple application that uh, I believe it's pretty handy for many engineers. Uh, so, let me know on the comment section and see you guys soon. Bye bye.